from New York, it's theCUBE, covering Blockchain Week. Now, here's John Furrier. Hello everyone, I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. We are here on the ground in New York City for Consensus 2018, part of Blockchain Week New York, hashtag Blockchain Week NY. We're here with Judy Gordon with Omni Sparks. It's a startup, they're just looking for an ICO, getting it going. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you so much for having us. We're in Media Row here, all the action going on at the Hilton, it's a packed event. What's it like, you're navigating the sea of, of growth. You guys are a startup, it must be amazing. It, it is amazing, and what's been the best part for us is meeting all these amazing projects um, that our company is hoping to support. Take a minute to explain what you guys do, stage of the company, how many employees, what are you guys are doing, looking for some par funding partners. Take a minute to explain what's going on. Yeah, so we are a community uh, management platform. We are a product for community managers of all kinds of projects to help manage this very difficult problem that they have in, with so many community members, so many are anonymous, so many are causing problems, but yet they need community members to really build their projects. We are um, just finishing up our angels, our friends and family round, and we're starting our seed round. Where are you guys located? We're located in Chicago. Okay, cool, Chi-Town? Uh, yes, cool. we have about, we have five members of the team in Chicago, and we have a development team in Serbia. What's your background? How did you get to, into this role? What's uh, What's, what's your role in the industry? How did you get here? So, um, I've been in marketing for large corporations and small startups. And uh, one of my old bosses from Motorola started the company and invited me to come on in and do marketing. And it's been, a, it's an amazing uh, space right now. Interesting, interesting opportunity for startups here with blockchain and decentralized applications. But you know, you mentioned community software. I mean, when was the last time the, the, the technology stack and community software has been modernized. I mean, Slack is like a poster child. It's essentially an IRC message group with a user interface with great APIs. I love Slack, we use it, but that's not really modern software. So right. how are you applying blockchain and decentralized applications for a new modern community approach? So first of all, we're letting community members and community managers use whichever tool they want. So from our perspective, you can use Telegram, Slack, um, Twitter, Facebook, all the tools that you use today, but right now they have to go from channel to channel and manage all these different channels. So now they'll be able to do it from one space. But the way we're revolutionizing it is, and the challenge with, with crypto is that there are all these anonymous participants. So there's all these token holders out there, but you, you don't know who they are. Well, we're, we have an app where people can go in, they sign in for the app, they tell you if they, if you want, if they want to, that they're your token holder, what their social handles are, and so that you can do direct outreach. So you guys actually going to have a token? Is it going to be an ICO, public, private, security token, utility token? Can you just share some uh, insight into what the strategy is? Yeah, so our plan is to do an ICO. We're following all the US regulations. Um, and uh, we will have a token. Our token is going to be, it's a security token. And uh, crypto projects will be able to use it as a way to do um, community outreach and, and do campaigns, community campaigns. Any good leads here at the show? Oh yeah, every single community manager we talk to has been interested. There are so many great projects out there. They all want to build community, they all need community to thrive, and they all need a tool like ours. Well since you're such an industry veteran, I want to get your take uh, while you're here on the event. What's your what's your experience here? What's the main content? The people who couldn't make it here, obviously they sold out. What's the show about? What's the core themes? What's resonating from a content thematic standpoint that you've observed? Well, I think uh, a couple of things. First of all, there's so much excitement, so much growth, so much opportunity. Um, I think what struck me is as I was waiting to be interviewed here, so many languages, people from all over the world are here to learn, to network. And what I've always found is so wonderful about the crypto community is it's really a community. People want each other to, to thrive yeah. and, and- It's tight-knit community, I got to say. It's very strong. They're very opinionated. They're not afraid to share our opinions. We just had Jimmy Song on from Blockchain Capital. He's really vocal, but it's it's cordial, it's civil, and there's some civil discourse which moves the needle. Yes, and everyone wants everyone to succeed. Great, so awesome. Great. One of the things I noticed was a lot of women in tech panels going on. Still, it's a sea of men here. 
you're a woman here. What's it like? I mean, is, we need more women in tech. Yeah. What's your what, what are you doing to to change that? Obviously, you're here. Um, is there more women coming on board? Is there groups out there within this community? What's the women in tech angle? Yeah. So. I was surprised. I knew there were very few women in Bitcoin, but looking around and blockchain, there really aren't that many women here. Um, and so, uh, but I think it's a great space for women. I think there's a lot of opportunity for women. And there are several organizations working to um, promote women in the space. Um, it's so really rocking. Next year it'll be different. We need more women. So more women out there. Judy Gordon is here. She's with OmniSparks Startup changing the game with new infrastructure for communities. I'm John Furrier here on the ground here at Blockchain Week, Consensus 2018. Thanks for watching, we'll be right back.